Hey guys, Pink Kitty is back with another video after three days in a row. What? Who is that girl? Normally, it's very hard and difficult for me to get a uh, YouTube video out quite regularly because I do have a full-time job. So being able to do a, a YouTube video for three days in a row, that's, that's quite a streak for me. But anyway, hi, how's it going? I'm going to work on something a little different today. Still doing a collaging with magazines, but when I was watching Nicole Relax Cut Glue here on YouTube, she would make something now and then called a vision board. And I guess a vision board was just a big piece of paper or something. I've got a piece of white card stock here. And then you would just, you know, collage and decorate all over it. And then you could... Um, I guess she would cut it up into different sizes to use for things. I think she'd make postcards or um, bookmarks and then also ATCs, which is something I just learned about recently. I had never heard of ATCs, which is, stands for Artist Trading Cards. And that's what I'm going to be making this vision board for today. Is I'm going to cut these up into the two and a half by three and a half pieces for some ATCs. I'm really super excited. I just want to do some tearing of paper and gluing. I'm mostly excited just for the tearing of paper because it was a very rough day. And I want to destroy something. <laughs> so, I was just digging through my... Recycle buckets, you know, these are all the pieces of magazine that I already harvested from and I was noticing a lot of these just, um, you know, sections of, you know, just words and writing. They're like, like on every single page and there's, there's a bunch of them. So I thought, why not just rip up those and then just glue them all over the board and just make that as the background. Cause I think that would look really super cool. So that's what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to rip up these sections of words it's like I'm not going to worry about cutting because I want to have the cool ripped edge see I'm just gonna tear them into pieces and I'm just gonna make a bunch I should have been doing this oh, some time ago just saving all of my word pieces you see like there's just words there's words everywhere and it's just these this is, this is the fun part, is just being able to rip out those things. And I can just glue them totally random wherever. And I think that would make a really cool background. So, yeah, I'm just going to be... I'm going to be doing a bunch of tearing and gluing down. And that's that's basically, basically it. But I want to say hi and welcome to my new uh, subscribers. I'm so excited to have you with me. I'm a rather new to the YouTube community. I just love, I love making videos. It's, it's really fun for me. I'm not really doing this just, you know, to become like social media famous or to, you know, make money off of it. I just, I like making the videos. It's, it's the fun part for me. And so, and I like to think of it as like, hey, if I do become famous and make money from it. I just consider that a bonus, but it's, it's mostly just about, you know, having fun and see what's fun about this. I can just totally pick whichever piece I want and just totally glue down. Like I want that there. I might need to go get another glue stick. This one's gonna be almost out. Stick that one there. And I got a real big piece here. Uh, see, this is the fun part. I love doing this. Absolutely love doing this. I'm I'm so glad that I learned about, about this. Because this, this is a place where I can go when I need to get away from the stresses of the work day. I don't know if you guys can uh, hear my cat in the background. That is Orion. He is demanding attention, and I'm not giving it to him yet, because it's it's not attention time. So he is busy racing around and just trying to ruin this video for me. But I'm like, nah. I'm sure you guys probably all have pets that like to uh, get up in your business too. 
when you're trying to do stuff. See, isn't that starting to look kind of cool? It's starting to look so cool. I'm loving it. Let's see. Let's see we'll do a skinny, skinny one. That's rather different. <laughs> Stick that one right there. Ha ha. But yeah, you guys let me know if there's any like particular topics you want to like talk about when I'm doing this. Anything special or particular? Because I'm new to all of this, so I'm trying to figure out what to talk about to fill the empty void. That's actually a struggle. I'm sure a lot of YouTubers struggle with that. Like, what do you talk about to fill the empty void? I know a lot of you just play background music, but I'm like... Not all of us have access to background music. So it's like, what do you, what about for those of us who can't get the, uh, the music like you guys can? I think I'm going to rip that corner. I don't want to have a straight corner. I'll get rid of that. Well, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should get another little box or container to just keep all of my ripped words. Have a bunch of ripped words like this, and I can save them all for future collages. A lot of pieces there, we'll use those. Okay, I'm gonna grab quick, grab another glue stick. It's just over here in the corner. I won't be gone but a moment. See, I'm back. I don't really have a lot of space to work on this either. I'm actually sitting at my uh, computer desk doing this because I don't exactly have a halfway decent space with good lighting. You gotta get you gotta get creative in these situations. So basically, I'm just going to fill the whole paper with with just cutouts right now. I'm not gonna do any decorating yet. Because I think I might want to cut it up first into the sizes that I'm going to use them for before I start adding any like decorations. And yep, I do decide I'm going to make these into uh, ATCs. So I'm hoping to get a nice big collection of ATCs made and then I can start trading them. Because that's just be so much fun. And I'm like, oh, I want to trade crafty stuff. <laughs> oh, isn't that just, isn't that just something? You gotta, you gotta love the little fun, fun quirks with that, with crafting. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. You gotta have those funny moments when you're crafting. You gotta have those. Absolutely. I think this glue stick is trying to tell me something. It's like, I am done. You have had it. Get rid of me now. I'm like, okay, I will retire you. I will retire you. Be gone. Now, it's okay if I'm going to let that edge hang over. I'll, I'll go back and uh, trim the edges later. All right, let's bust out the new one. As you wish. Oh, yeah. Gotta love that smooth, silky feeling of a new glue stick. I'm telling you, the littlest things turn us crafters on. Huh? Huh? Am I right? I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Don't deny it. This is also fun to do. And I like to make videos of this too, even though I'm sure a lot of other people are out there making the same kind of videos, but not everybody is doing the same thing. Lots of people will harvest different images and do theirs differently. Or So it's like everybody should be making videos of, of theirs because it's not always going to be the same, which is so cool. So I've been always busy hunting through a YouTube trying to see what else is everybody making. I want to see. And I think that's just, that's so cool. I'm going to try and get that color out. I just want to have the black and white words. I don't want any color in here. Uh, 
Ah, but I do love tearing into that paper. It's so satisfying. All right. Just tossing all my scraps to the side. I'll clean that up later. We always clean the mess up after the crafting. Well, at least most of us do. <laughs> Although with me, I technically have to because when I do my crafting, it's usually at my computer desk or at the uh, kitchen counter, and I, I still need to use those for other things, so I'm kind of forced to uh, clean up after I'm done. I do have a craft room, but that is also packed full of stuff started and everything's covered on the table. So technically in a way, I don't really have a space to work on this. So I have to uh, get creative and improvise in other ever sections of my house. Because you know, as a crafter, it spreads. It's, it's, it's like a, I wouldn't call it a disease, but it spreads like one. It's like we don't, we don't call crafting a disease because, you know, it's amazing. Mm, let's see. I gotta start being like puzzle pieces here to fitting things in the corners. I need to get some smaller pieces to fill in those little gaps now. Here we go. All right, let's dig through my bucket for some more words. I mean, I've got, I've got a bunch of them. It's, there's just so many. And this magazine tears up so nicely. It tears up real nicely. Okay, let's see. I gotta figure out what kind of size I want where. I need a piece about there. Okay, well, I don't think that really ended up. Oh, I guess it'll work. It'll work. Oh, I really need to make one of those cute little sponge buckets that uh, Nicole made. If you've seen what uh, Nicole on Relax Cut Glue does for her gluey sticky fingers. And she has this little bowl and she sticks a damp sponge in it and then she just wipes it off. And I'm like, genius. That's like, that's awesome. I don't know if that was her idea or if she said that it came from somebody else else but I'm like I, I I have to I have to do that now so it's like I think all of us crafters should have something like that I'm getting like glue all over these things but it's okay huh, let's see where should this one fit oh I think that one will fit good right there I like about this page is it's all chaos. It, in a way, it's, it's kind of like organized chaos. It's all the same, like, print. I mean, I know exactly what I'm using, but at the same time, it's just like, just stick it there. Just just toss it there. So it's like, I don't care how messy it becomes. It's like, that's what I want. We want the mess. We want the chaos. That's an odd shape right up there. Oh boy. And that one too. How about I? Okay, well, I might just. I'm just gonna stick something up there. We'll just stick that right there. I'll trim it off later. And then I'll think I'll stick that there. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. But now I gotta start to think of what I wanna decorate it with. What do you think I should use, put on this? Should I make it something funky or should I make it maybe like vintage? Oh my gosh, I'm so sticky. I'm so sticky. Okay, let's get some more, some more words. Never, never ending bucket of words. Oh, gotta love the sound of tearing paper. I love the feeling of it too. It's so much fun. Okay, that's a good piece. Let's see. Hmm, it might fit there pretty good, actually. All right. I know the page is kind of warping a little bit because of all the glue, but 
Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I'm going to be cutting these down into little into little ATC size uh, cards, so I don't think you'll really notice too much the warping. But I know some people don't like it. But no, it doesn't bother me. It don't bother me, baby. I have no idea where that came from. Sorry, guys. No idea where that came from. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I still have some blank spots to fill in. I need this little tiny piece down here. I'm going to get rid of that color. I don't want the color. My poor glue stick is a mess. It's just... Ooh, I'm gonna, let's do it this way. There we go. All right, almost there. We have someone serenading us. Yes, my darling. Yes, your mommy, your mommy loves you. I am not ignoring you, but I am busy. Mama's working. All right. Should I go ahead and just cover up some of these? Actually, I think I'm going to use that piece and cover up that corner. But I got a lot of little tiny empty spots here. Should I still cover those up too? I don't want to make this too thick with stuff. I don't want too much on there. But at the same time, I kind of really don't want to have... I think I'll just try and fill in the bigger spots. Let's see. Okay. We are getting there. I'm really loving this. Isn't that looking cool, though? Isn't that looking so cool? That's perfect for a background. That's just so perfect for a background. Wow. I would like to thank Nicole for introducing me to this stuff. I don't know if she will ever see this video, but if someone else could pass along the message to her, I would really appreciate that. I know I'm not a big time YouTuber like she is, at least not yet, but I think I want to cover that up. Do I have any more? In Oh, there's a piece. You think that will? Yeah, that'll look fine. Or should I stick it up there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. See, this is the part where you just got to figure out is too much too much or when to stop because I don't know when to stop. I, 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 I don't. It's like I'm having fun. It's like, do I have to stop? Well, eventually I will. The page will get too full and I will be forced to stop. Hmm. I think I'll just use that last little bit right there. Cut that up. I think that's good. I know there's some little little tiny white spots left in there, but I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right. Well, there we go, guys. I know I haven't trimmed the edges yet, but I'm gonna wait till this dries a bit. But there's my first little uh starter vision board. Then when it's all dry, I will cut it up and maybe I'll come back and we can start decorating the uh, decorating my little cards. What do you think? Well, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'm glad I was able to come on here and just rip some paper with you. I hope to see you guys again real soon. Bye.